Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we would be studying about what is debugging and what are the types of bug that can be seen in Python programs. Okay, so uh, whenever we talk about debugging, we first must understand that what is this word actually mean. So debugging is made from two words, D and bug. So bug basically refers to any kind of mistake or an error and debug means to remove that mistake or error. So whenever in a program or in any Python program in this case, you write a code and you analyze that code to identify the errors, you identify the bugs and then remove those bugs. The entire process of doing this, identifying the bugs and removing them is known as debugging. Okay, So in Python programming, there are three main types of bugs or errors that can appear when you are writing a code and then you execute it. Okay, So what are the three kinds of error? The first is syntax error, then are logical errors and then are runtime errors. So let us understand what is the difference between the three of them starting with syntax errors. Now, what is meant by syntax? Syntax in generic language means rules of a language. Okay, syntax refers to what are the predefined rules of any language. In our case, we are talking about the Python programming language. So, syntax error occur whenever any particular predefined or pre-stated rule of the Python language is violated in the programming code or the program statement okay so what happens when a syntax error occurs the interpreter is not able to understand the program statement and it stops the execution at the very point where the syntax error has appeared the interpreter also displays or shows a a message an error message and uh, it tells it gives a hint it gives a short description of why the program execution has been stopped and what kind of error it might be okay so syntax error refers to uh, any error that has arisen due to the violation of any kind of rule that has been stated in the language so for example uh, if we, uh, as I have written here, whenever we write an expression, we tend to write parentheses and the parentheses always occur in pairs. So in this case, as you can see, the expression consists of a single opening parenthesis, but there is no closing parenthesis corresponding to it. So this is a syntax error because the rule of the Python language says that you must write parentheses in pairs. Okay. So what will happen when this statement appears in the code? The interpreter will not be able to understand this because it is a violation of a rule. The execution will stop at that statement and if you want the execution, that means if you want the program to run uh, smoothly, you must first remove this kind of error and then only the interpreter would be able to execute your program. Now, coming to the second kind of error, logical errors. So, as the name suggests, what are logical errors that arise due to some kind of problem existing in the logic of the program. So there is a problem in the logic that you have coded in the program. Now you must be very clear about this point that unlike syntax errors, logical errors will not stop the execution of your Python program. The only way you can identify that there is a there may be a kind of logical error in your uh, program is by seeing that the output is not what you expected. So undesired output or un expected output is a very clear indication that there is something wrong in the program logic okay so uh, this is an important point that the incorrect output is the only indication of a logical error and you must check the logic of your code to correct this kind of errors now uh, for example if you need to find the average of two numbers so if uh, you write 9 plus 11 divided by 3. Now there is nothing wrong in this statement when we talk about its syntax. There are round uh, uh, the parentheses are in pairs and the operator is used perfectly, the operands are perfect but 
logically average is not computed like this when you find the average of two numbers you need to divide by two okay or if you are uh, calculating the average you first need to perform the sum and then divide by two in the second example that you see here what will actually happen is first 11 would be divided by 2 and the result would be added to 9. So again that would not give the correct result, the correct average. Okay. Now coming to the next kind of error is the runtime error. Now what is a runtime error? Runtime means the time of execution. So these are the kinds of errors that arise only when you execute your program okay so they will uh, they will not stop the they will stop the execution of uh, of the program and even if the syntax is correct the program will not execute correctly because there is some kind of problem that the interpreter cannot execute uh, some kind of problem due to which the interpreter cannot perform the instruction so for example um, suppose you want to calculate uh, a division of two numbers and uh, what what you need to take the input both the numbers as input from the user by chance the user inputs the second number which is used as the divisor to be zero so if the divisor is zero the interpreter will not be able to perform division by zero because division by zero is not defined right similarly in if if you want to calculate the sum of two numbers and the user inputs a string instead of a number then again the interpreter would throw a runtime error now you must be very clear that in case of runtime errors the syntax is completely right okay that is why the program is executing but at some point when it is computing ca calculating or performing the operations at that point it the interpreter realizes that it is not able to perform those operations in a correct manner okay so these are the three types of errors that we have studied now from the next uh, uh, lecture we will be studying about the questions the exercise questions that are present in the program in the in your chapter at the back of your chapter so stay tuned 